are back at 741 on this Sunday morning, taking a look outside in Cape Corpus. It's pretty out there, but I noticed the water temperature on one of Mallory's maps earlier was 43 degrees. So pretty to look at. <laughs> Wouldn't want to touch it with a 10 foot pole. And Mallory, speaking of you, you're the only person I know who might actually be jealous of that couple in the last segment who got married outside in a blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying to, to the producers that all I wanted was a winter wedding and my family flat out refused because yes. they're all from New Jersey. And so we had a fairly large wedding and they said, we are not going to trust that the weather is going to cooperate. But all I wanted was to get married at the Mount Washington Resort in a snowstorm. Didn't happen. <laughs> you know, you got to... <laughs> you got to work with everyone. It was a beautiful wedding uh, in the Oxford Hills here in the middle of fall foliage. Nothing wrong with it. But my first dream really was a winter wedding in the middle of a blizzard. I don't think anyone is surprised at that. And yesterday, yeah, that's a, that was a good one. They are going to remember that forever. And I'm a little jealous. 18 inches in Brunswick and Lisbon. We had 16 inches in Lewiston and Westbrook Sanford at 12.1. So, you know, it was a while since we had a good old fashioned blizzard and blockbuster nor'easter. It's about four years. If you remember back in March 2018, we had four of them in a row. You don't want to talk about being tired after that. That was a that was a feat. I remember that. Temperatures were cold. We had a lot of snow and wind was a big factor. So that is going to be something else that we remember from the storm. We had hurricane force wind gusts with this storm in Rye, New Hampshire, as well as Robinson. Now, a beautiful sunny start to the day today. Temperatures are going to be into these single digits to start. We have a dew point of three below, so it is a little bit dry out there. We'll continue to see the wind be elevated today, but it will gradually subside during the day too. So we will see it be worse in the morning, better in the afternoon. It is a great day to be outside in the winter wonderland. I know there's a lot of folks who don't like the snow and the cold, but today I think you could find a way to enjoy it. Just get out for a walk along your street into some snowshoeing trails. It's really just beautiful out there. Got to bundle up from the wind and we have some sunshine. A few isolated snow showers left into the mountains. That's pretty typical with a northwest wind, but we'll be clearing out in most areas. Currently zero in Greenville, eight in Portland, Wiscasset. Yes, 43 for our water temperature. And of course, that's why the storm did have a little bit of some more energy by the time it got into the Gulf of Maine. You actually, you know, we're not seeing that be terribly cold for this time of year. It still gives the energy, some the storm system, some warmth and some movement there. And so that's why it started to gain some strength and we got all that snow. Nine right now in Portsmouth and six in Concord, New Hampshire. We'll see these temperatures move up to about 20 along the coast for your high temperatures. We'll be in the teens and single digits inland. If you do head out and enjoy the snow, just prep for it. Lots of layers, maybe some hand warmers. Get, I know I'm, I have uh, heated gloves and need to get some heated socks and those things do wonders when you want to get out in the cold. We are going to keep this snow around for a while. Temperatures really don't move very much. Tonight is going to be cold. This model is way underestimating. I think the temperatures with fresh snowpack and clear sky will be below zero in most areas. We'll see those temperatures move up into the upper 20s tomorrow and it's a quiet day. We'll relish in the quiet days because they aren't going to continue into the end of the week. A little foreshadowing there. So yeah, temperature is not quite to freezing tomorrow, but we'll definitely get some help from Mother Nature. On the water, we'll have a gale warning in effect till 10 o'clock this morning. Gusts to 35 and seas will be subsiding to 7 to 10 feet later on in the afternoon. All right, take a look at the forecast. We have temperatures mid-20s going into Monday and Tuesday. And then you see a little bit of uh, disturbance coming in toward the end of the week. I've kept it as a rain and mixed precipitation storm at this point, but it has been trending colder. So I'm getting a little concerned for the possibility of icing going into Thursday and maybe Friday morning. So just keep this in, in your back pocket. We're going to be watching it. You know, there's only so much downtime we get in, in, the, in the weather center here <laughs> as we get into January and February. Uh, but I anticipate us having some impacts, and I think it's going to be about Wednesday night to Friday morning. It could be a change of precipitation. It might go rain, ice, snow. It could be ice to snow, but it's going to be much more messy and convoluted than this past storm. And I don't think that says much because we were racking our brains on that. But we are going to be seeing some impact from a more messy storm system heading into the end of this week.